YouTube channel. My name is Pamela and today I am back again with another story. Um, this story happens when happened to me when I went to college. I was staying off camp and in the yard that I was staying in, it had a one room and a shack and I was staying in, the, in that room. So that day I was alone because my boyfriend had to go and to buy grocery. So I was left alone and then two men came into, into that yard. So they knocked and I opened for them. I, told, I asked them what they want and they told me that they, they have the things that they want me to help them with it by putting it inside the house so that they can come back and get it. They told me that they know the lady of the of their room of this of the yard and I told them that I don't know them and I know nothing about them and the lady hasn't told me anything about them so they asked me to call the lady so I took my phone and I called the lady I asked them do you know these guys they told me their name so I I, I asked her if she knew those guys so she said to me that she knows them and i told them that is it okay if i put their luggage in the in the house and she in, she told me that it is fine if i want to but if i don't want to it's, it's it is also fine while i was busy at the phone the other guy tried to open the door and i quickly went to the door and said what do you want and he said we are in a hurry so I closed the door. I took their I, I took their luggage and closed the door. So they went. I don't know if they went to the shops or whatever. As I was in the room alone, I started thinking. Hmm, something just told me that something is off with these guys. So I decided to lock the butler and leave the, the door open because it had a butler that room. And they actually came back and when they came back they asked they asked me that who am i with inside the room and i told them that i am with my boyfriend and they were like no we don't trust you we don't trust you at all we don't think that you're with your boyfriend you're actually alone in that room and i was like what the hell do you want do you want your luggage back or do you want to know who i'm with inside the room so they said they don't want their luggage back they just want to come inside because they know I am alone. So I was like, I am going to take these things of yours because they gave me a radio and a milli meal or a maize meal. So you know, you know that a butler has spaces in it. So those things could fit in that butler, in those spaces of the butler. So I took the meal meal and I, I threw it. To them and I took the radio also and threw it at them and they didn't want to leave they just wanted to come inside and that the other guy just came to the butler and started shaking the butler wanting to get inside yo I was so scared that, that day but I was actually relieved that I decided to let to lock the door before they came in and they were like we know you're, you're alone inside let us come inside and I was like there's no way in hell that I'm going to let you come inside and as they were busy trying to open the butler my boyfriend came so he came and they, were, they got scared and they greeted my boyfriend and they left and as, as they left I told my boyfriend the story <laughs> and he was like why didn't why didn't you tell me sooner so that I, can, I I I would have made I would have done something, and yeah, guys, that's the story of two guys who tried to rape me. I think they were trying to rape me. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know, but I just think that's that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, guys. So if you find this story interesting, make sure that you like and you comment, share your ideas about this story let's just advise each other and everybody who's staying out of camp or at address 
because this thing can happen to in, to everybody let's just try to protect one another and make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you find my stories interesting bye guys